All right, good evening, good evening, everybody. I hope all is well. Welcome to Total Impact Friday Night Leadership, June the 2nd, 2023. Got a very special leadership tonight. Looking forward to hearing from Regional Director Ian Nehemiah Ikpe. Just had a great night with this gentleman down in the Atlanta market. And all I'll tell you is he's an absolute champion, okay? And so they threw a great event for Mr. Burt and that market last night. We got reps in the system, and we always like that. Cheeks in the seats and reps in the system. More importantly, it's a paid app game, and we got some paid apps that are working and building their list. And so things are happening here at the Total Impact Collective. We hope they're happening for you, too. I'm sure that tonight's information will help, it, help you make it happen a little bit faster. So we're very excited about the up-and-coming convention in Baltimore, Maryland, um, the Elevate from ACN International Convention, all 27 countries, all five continents, we're all dropping into the Baltimore Convention Center, thousands of people, all together to learn and understand ACN in a much, much bigger way. They haven't even dropped all the announcements, uh, but I can tell you just from the chatter that I'm hearing from the leaders, uh, this is going to be a never forget one of a kind event. And if you're not driving registration, well, hopefully after Mr. Ekpay's conversation, you will have a couple of nuggets that will also turn into some gas that you can light up and turn into a fire, you know? The conversation that we want to bring for you tonight, and he's got his own deviation, but the template is built around, we want to teach you what to do leading up to June 23rd and then teach you how to run as you come out of June 23rd. I do want you to know, no matter what he shares tonight, whatever God has put on his heart, it does go on deaf ears if you don't actually go out and really become conscious of getting other people to show up to the event with you. It's so crazy today, earlier, me and Mr. Igpe and a couple other leaders, we were sitting on the phone, literally trying to just work out something simple <laughs> just because it's an important detail. And we don't want to miss anything. And so your leaders are the same way. Everybody's crossing all I, uh, crossing all T's and dotting all I's to get this one right. So whoever you invite, they're going to have an experience that they won't forget. Now, here's my, my promise. I dare you to invite somebody of quality to come and show up to the Elevate in Baltimore, Maryland for Friday and Saturday. So they got to be there for the whole conversation, okay? They got to be in the house. I dare you. Bring somebody. Bring your greatest skeptic. If they tell me that that conversation over 48 hours with us, and it's not a whole 48, by the way, okay? <laughs> anyway, you get the point. It's two days worth of ACN and the company's on full display. If they say that that did not create value for them, well, I'll give them their money back. And I'm good for it. You can ask anybody. I'm like a Lannister. If I owe you, I pay you. It's simple, okay? <laughs> so without further ado, I do want to bring up to the front of our virtual bridge here. How you doing, Miss Glow? Y'all hold on. I'm, I'm going to wonderful. Here for a second. <laughs> What's the good news, homie? I She's didn't get I, I didn't get invited to a Zoom party yet, so I said maybe maybe it's happening right now. You know, I just thought I'd check. Okay, all right. Well, y'all y'all do me a big favor, lift uh, Ms. Allen in prayer. She's on the brink of a milestone. It's going to be an exciting celebration, so we'll claim it done in advance, champ. So congratulations, keep working. All right. Thank you. You're supposed to correct me and say no, Brown. I'm hustling. <laughs> Trick it would be dot. It would be dot on tomorrow. Trick play, Allie. Trick play. Trick play. I try to see if you keep it up with my flow here. All yes, right. Yes, it would be done on tomorrow. All right. Well, I'm hearing great things about you. <laughs> Thank so you. Very excited. Very excited for you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anyway, sorry about that, Mr. Igpe. You know, we love to celebrate a champion. I'm sorry, good. I, I oh. mess with Miss Glory all the time. So I'm has very you. happy for her. Secret news for me, you know. Sometimes you got to pry it out of that team over there. You dig. You got you to check on it. You say, what's up? Give me the good. But anyway, regional director, any of my Ipe, he's got the bridge for tonight. He can introduce himself. <laughs> he does this for a living. Thank y'all again for joining leadership.
Mr. Igbe. All right. Good evening, everybody. Y'all gotta listen to my music as I put it. Is that okay? You can't have fun Friday? <laughs> Era. No? It's okay. I'll play it again later. We'll see if you guys are awake. Let's talk about elevation. So we're gonna talk about tonight. So if you're driving, pay attention to the road. Don't worry about it. I will make everything like you're looking at it. If you're not driving, turn on your camera if you can. You have on your bonnet. We don't care. Uh, you know, and Dwight Brown told me to say that. And um, you know, we want to make sure that we have a real conversation tonight. So conversation includes listening. So if you're like watching TV, I don't know what you'd be watching. On TV. Ain't nothing on. The, the Nuggets beat them yesterday, so I don't know what you would be watching. But, you know, pause that, you know, come back to it, hit record, whatever, you know, and, and come back to it. And, you know, let's lock in because we want to have a conversation about how to create, sustain, and advance the permanent mindset of attending convention with the proper energy and activity. So I want to build this up because some people don't know what we're talking about. You've never been to a convention, do not understand. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Trust the process. And you say, what is the process? Take a screenshot of this. Because when you start not listening to your mentor, because it's bound to happen for most people, not everyone, most people, you need to go back to the process. When you get discouraged, when you get distracted, when you start feeling like you're too busy or too burdened to keep going, you need to go back to the process. What is the process? We create the mindset, we create the energy, we create the actions. And you say, well, when I do that, what do I do? Then we sustain the mindset, we sustain the energy, we sustain the actions. You say, well, what do I do then? Then we advance the mindset, we advance the energy and we advance the actions. And guess what? When do you stop advancing? Never, never. We have some accountants on here. We might have some attorneys on here, some engineers, some doctors. Aren't you happy? Let me tell you a story. Did you all know? And I did my research this morning, so I know what I'm saying is facts. Did you know? that in 1880, two things became widespread in America for mass consumption by everyone, adult and child alike, cocaine and heroin. You may say, why I never, I didn't know I was coming to this kind of meeting. Let me help you understand something. Around 1870, heroin was discovered and invented. And the, the guy who invented, he didn't really do anything. The Bayer Pharmaceutical Company, you know, Bayer Medicine, when you got a headache, Bayer decided, B-A-Y-E-R, they decided it was a good idea to put heroin in their aspirin. Even children's aspirin had heroin in it. And even after they saw the side effects were addiction, they did not stop until 1924. From 1870, to 1924. Think about that for a second. That's a long time, right? But before that, about 1880, about the same time, cocaine, it became so widespread, you could open the Sears catalog. You know, they used to have a catalog. Cocaine was an item you could order. It was an ingredient in Coca-Cola. That was real. It's not a myth. You could go to the bar and get a bump of cocaine for 50 cents. Like just, hey, I want some fries and cocaine. Like, like literally, it was an ingredient in food. They started with using it as anesthesia for medical surgeries because they realized cocaine numbed the spot it was applied to on the body. So they use it for like eye surgery, and surgery, you know, all in here, sensitive places. 
but they were getting people addicted. By 1902, there were 200,000 people addicted to cocaine in America. And you may say, well, what does this have to do with anything? I want you all to know that they were so committed to what they did until they realized how wrong it was that they were willing to change. Aren't you glad people are willing to change? And I hope you're people who are willing to change because we are about to talk about a difficult conversation and some of you are gonna start looking for excuses. Your excuses are gonna come from your comfort zone. Your excuses are gonna be based on your past or your present, not your future. Aren't we glad they're not still giving us our, our children, our grandchildren, our nieces and nephews, little tablets of heroin? Aren't we glad? Aren't we glad that they stopped the mass production of these drugs in our food? Aren't we glad that if you give your kid a Coca-Cola, you don't have to take them to rehab? Aren't you glad? It might get a little sugar rush. I had to put them in the corner, but they don't have to go to rehab. Change is important. All of you are here because you are either new to the business, so you embrace the change, or you've been in the business and you're continuously embracing change. How does that look like? It's exactly what we're talking about. Trusting the process. Understanding your mind has to change. Understanding your energy has to change. So let's talk about creating the mindset. You have to be willing to admit you've done something wrong. You've done something wrong. It's okay to be wrong. It is okay to be wrong. If you're taking notes or you can text and you're not driving, write this down or text this to yourself. I need to submit. I need to submit. Yes, the S word, some of you hate. I need to submit myself to mentorship, accountability, and personal development. Somebody, please put it in the chat. I need to submit myself to mentorship, accountability, and personal development. It's called mindset because your mind is set in a direction. Before you joined the business, your mind was set in a direction. When you saw the business, your mind became set in a direction and you're still here because your mind is set in the right direction. Guess who's not here? The person whose mind is set in the wrong direction. The person who believes their Goliath is really a giant rather than just a bigger target to fall. The person who does not understand if their friends and family knew what was good for them, they'd already have it to give to them. Think about that for a second. Why will you let other people's opinions of you define your opinion of you when they are not happy themselves? Drop a one in the chat if you know at some point in your life you took advice from someone who didn't even know what they were talking about. I'm talking about they gave you financial advice, had no money, health advice, had no health, marriage advice, had no marriage, social advice, had no friends, Investment advice had no investment. How to get through school had no degree. How to be a parent have no kids. You see where I'm getting at? So if someone's not made millions in network marketing, why would you take their opinion on how to make millions in network marketing? We're telling you create the right energy. You can't create the right energy around the wrong people. Now we're not telling you disown your friends and family. Do not delete and block them from social media. Don't go on there and be that gung-ho person. Yeah, I went to an ACN event. Now all of you are trash. Your thinking is garbage. I'm out. I'm out. All of you are gone. I'm only adding IBOs. Wrong. IBOs can't become your customer. They're their own, hopefully. IBOs can't join your team. They're already in. Don't do that. You need an audience. Stop letting haters hurt you so much. Do you know they made fun? of Noah when he was building the ark. And he was building it for over 100 years. It was a long time. There was a lot of laughing. There was a lot of name calling. His kids got made fun of. His wife got made fun of. Like, there she is, the lady who's married to the boat man. Can you imagine? 
you're doing something for most of your life and it hasn't came to fruition and people are making fun of you. Let me help you understand some other people who got made fun of because maybe that's not your book of choice. Let's go to let's go from fiction for some of you to nonfiction. Colonel Sanders, KFC. It jumped off for him at about the 1600th rejection. He was in his 60s. He wears the white suit because it was all he had left. It was his only suit. He didn't wear it for style. It was all he had. Some of you not in your 60s, you already given up. Colonel Sanders kept going. Some of you in your 50s gave up. Some of you, you're just about to break through. You're about to have your KFC moment, but you got the wrong energy around you. You got people telling you you can't do it. Some of you, the people telling you you can't do it used to be in your team. Oops. Right? Some of them, they used to be a supporter. It's okay. Keep going anyway, right? Trick Kathy, he started Chick-fil-A. He had a brother. The brother died. There was two locations. There was a fire. The brother died after the store burned down, the second store. Then the brother died, and he didn't think he could go on. Now look at Chick-fil-A. Billion-dollar company, not even open on Sundays. Makes more money than some companies is open seven days a week. We can go on and on. Jeff Bezos, did you know he started Amazon in his garage? It was a home-based business. Did you know Amazon has the same model as ACN? Jeff Bezos owns the site and he gets other independent business owners to list their stuff on his site that he doesn't own, but they have to give him a percent of it because he's helping them do the transaction. He's introducing them to the customer. He has the platform for money and service, goods to exchange hands. Sounds like network marketing to me. Those things don't work. They work. And you work too. That's what you tell people. Have fun with it. The wrong energy. You may say, well, what does any of this have to do with going to Baltimore? Because you need to create the right action. You need to create the right actions. And it has to start today. It has to start today. Here's what I know. If you don't do the right thing today, you won't make it to Baltimore. You will not make it to Baltimore. Look at these services. You know, you're, you're your customer source. Did you know that? So I don't care if you've been in 10 years or, or you've been in 10 minutes. Are you your own customer? We have training tomorrow morning. So if you, if you want training on how to get yourself as a customer, it's going to happen. We're not about to do it right now. Well, let me tell you how easy it is. Here's what you say. You see the stuff at the bottom, favor, help. Why? Look. Say, hey, look. You, look in the mirror and say, look, you, can you do me a huge favor? I need to help my family. I need to hit this goal. I need your help. Will you support me? And you tell yourself, no, you need another meeting and you need to lay on a couch for it. It is psychiatric treatment. <laughs> you tell yourself, no, it's downhill from there. I'll tell you right now. Well, I have this phone, da, 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 da. Get a phone. Get your cell phone switched. You holler at uh, Mr. Brown. He'll show you how to switch your phone. No matter what the situation is, you can get your you can get a phone. Uh, well, I, I got this, that, and the other. I, I got a roommate. I got I live with parents. I live here. I see these are excuses. The right actions we're talking about is finding solutions, not problems. Anyone can look outside and say it's raining, but who's going to find the umbrella? Are you Mr. Obvious, Mrs. Obvious? It's raining. Okay. Do you know there's places in the world where it rains more than it doesn't? They still live. Don't find the excuse, find the solution. Well, I have health insurance through my employer. I'm retired. Get in it. Get look. Get impact for somebody. Get someone who's not you, who don't have the hookup, 
and say, I need you to try this so I know how it works. Isn't that easy to say? Drop a two in the chat if it's easy to say, I need you to try this so I know how it works. Can you say that to yourself? I need you to try. That's all I did. Like people look like I'm I'm not anything special. I just said, self, you got to try this. Don't care how hard it is to sign it up. Just do it. You'll figure out how it works when it's signed up. Very simple. You don't travel, get someone on Truvy that travels. Look, I'm very recluse. My wife has Truvy. She uses it. She loves it. I love it. Identity. If you don't think your identity is worth protecting, you need prayer. You are somebody. You matter. Please. Don't tell me you don't need ID seal. Because don't call me from jail to bail you out when they put a felony on your record. Don't do it. Tell you I ain't got it for you. You say I ain't got it. I just say I don't got it for you because I know you should have protected your identity. You think that's a game that actually happened to one of our business partners in Maryland? Real story. Tried to get an apartment after college. Found out he couldn't because he was a felon. And the police actually took him to jail. He had to fight it for a long time. Don't be that person. Look, educate yourself. Don't be ignorant. Know what you're saying no to. The worst person is the IBO that won't be their own customer. I can't do it. I don't have money. Get money. You know, the brokest people I know on social media always find money for what they like. They're popping bottles. They got new Jordans. They got a Gucci belt. Yeah, they ride the bus, but they got a Gucci belt. Or yeah, they pull up with the Lexus to the apartment in the hood, but there, they got Alexis. Look, they always find money for what they want. Who knows some, drop a three in the chat if you know somebody, like, you know what I'm talking about. She got all the designer bags, hair stay done, nails stay done, kids look like Boo Boo the Fool. She don't, she don't give them nothing. You know what I'm talking about. Got the new everything, got it first, right? Owe you money, still posted on social media. Job before in the chat, somebody owe you money and they still posting like they don't owe you money. Please. <laughs> you got to be your own customer. You got to be your own customer. I hope I made that clear. That's one of the actions. Look, somebody just got stuck right here. I know I won't see you in Boston because you're stuck. You're stuck. So when we have your meeting, we're supposed to sort your guests. How can we sort your guests when you didn't sort yourself? We're going to try and get them to Baltimore. We're going to get them in the business if they're ready. We're going to get them to training if they're not ready. If you won't come to training, look, we have training tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. on Zoom. All you got to do is click a link to say you're at training. If you can't click a link to say you're at training, why do you expect other people to say I'm in training with you and click a link. Remember, we're creating energy. Energy is not created nor destroyed, really. It's just transferred, if you want to be scientific. So you need to have energy to transfer. Where do you get the energy? Events. Where are the events? The trainings, the presentations. It's not just for your guests. We'll present to them, but we're presenting for you. Because each time you hear it, you learn something new, your belief goes up. Your belief goes up, you'll learn tomorrow. Just come to training, you'll hear the rest. If they say no, we're getting you customers. Some of you don't get customers because you're not giving us anyone to say no to us. We wanna hear no. As soon as I hear the in and the no, I say no problem, John. I get it. You don't like residual income. Some people don't. I like sushi. Some people don't. Some people don't like sushi, never had it. You never had residual income, don't like it. I don't need an explanation. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to become Bria's customer. I need you to become Lance's customer. I need you to get on all the services David has right now. Why are we doing that? We want them to feel good about their no. Don't make people feel bad about their no. They told me somebody wasn't going to support me. I didn't know it would be you, Cousin John. Now, look, if Cousin John really owes you, then do that. But look, 
Let him be a customer. Let him feel guilty if he does say he don't want to support you. It's okay. Let him feel a little guilty because guess what? Here's how you say it. You say, John, if it was you, I'd do it in a heartbeat, but it's all good. Ooh, that stings a little bit, right? So you have to have meetings. You have to have meetings and you have to close after the meetings, please. I had a business partner. She was amazing. She would get double digit guests at all her meetings every week for six months. She is gone. She quit the business. You know why? Because here's how she closed the meeting. Good evening, everyone. We have sodas and pizzas over here. If you want to be a customer, that's cool. If you don't want to be one, that's cool too. Thanks for coming out. Don't do that. Here's what you tell people. You tell them what, and look, I didn't even train this. My newest business partner, here's what he told his yesterday. If you want to get the money, if you really want to do something, you'll find the money for it. I was like, woo, that's natural. But guess what? We've all talked to somebody like that before for something else. We just get an ACN and get timid. The right actions includes not being timid. Like, well, I don't want to offend anyone. You know you'll offend one out of 10 people by being bold, but you'll lose nine out of 10 by being weak. Are we understanding what we're saying? If you don't do the right things each day leading up to Baltimore, you won't be there. So you got to sustain the mindset. Now that you submit it, look, if you submit it tonight, I don't care what you did before tonight, you might have been the most hard-headed, business owner in the history of 30 years of the company. Te text your mentor right now. Text him or her if you can. If you're driving, talk to text or don't wait and do it. Say, I submit to your coaching. Just type it to him. Type, I submit to your coaching. Go ahead. Put it in your writing. Here's what I know. You're going to feel a weight lift off you. Submitting, people think submission is weak. It's actually weakness leaving the body. You're releasing a burden from yourself by being a submitted individual. Everyone has to submit. This idea that you're a finite individual that created your world and you create your reality and you can create whatever you want in the law of attraction. Look, you believe that if you want to. Why do law of attraction believer people die then? Why why'd they attract that? If they could just live forever, why are they doing it? Or you are you gonna tell me they turned into a rock, whatever. That's another conversation. Why'd they turn into a rock if they could stay? We're not getting into that. What I'm telling you is the mindset you need to sustain is a submitted individual. Because if you didn't trust the people who are mentoring you, why did you ever start the business? Why don't you submit to them? Here's the crazy thing. Do you know? Most people that join the business never submit. So when they don't get the result they want, they're the one who made them not get the result they want. Therefore, if they just stopped, humble themselves, let their ego go and submit to their mentor, she or he would then redirect them to get the results and they'd be happy. Imagine getting a personal trainer. Now you paid them $324, $25 a month. And they tell you, stop eating X, Y, Z, and you keep eating it. But then you call them like, you know, all I've been doing is eating Krispy Kremes, and I ain't get none of my goals. Really, Sherlock? Really? You think? Really? Oh, okay. You got to sustain the energy. This means when you get tired, when most people get tired, they give up. They give in. They give up. They give in. You're going to have bad days in the business. You're going to have good days. You're going to have no show. Here was my ACN today. My six o'clock, she no call, no show. Sent me straight to voicemail when I called her. Left my uh, DM on Facebook unread. And she called me. I didn't call her. She called me to get the business. My seven o'clock, Showed up. She said she didn't have the money. 
she's supposed to introduce me to two people on text message. I said, start a group text. I ain't see the group text yet. It's nine something. We'll see. She's coming to training. We'll see. By eight o'clock, she didn't show up, but I double booked because I don't trust people because people are lazy and liars. That's most people. So I am book one. So when the new couple got started, I booked the eight o'clock together. I was like, if she starts, I'll just put her on their team. So she didn't show up, no call, no show, straight to voicemail. One of their guests showed up. He's getting his money together and had a great conversation. He's in his last semester, a couple of classes of high school. High school. Sustain the energy. The reason I bring that up is we didn't have a perfect day. They didn't have a perfect day. I know for a fact they had cleaning gigs set up and they told me they pulled up to the location and the person canceled as they were right there to do the job. That's not a good feeling. Loss of time and income. But guess what? The meeting must go on. Sustain the right actions. Don't be a quitter. Everyone says they're not a quitter till they're a quitter. Did you know that? Did you know that quitting is actually hard? Staying in is easy. Here's how quitting is hard. In order to quit, you have to act like a part of your life never happened. Like you pretend it never happened. Like whoever, drop a five in the chat. If you remember somebody used to be your friend and they see you and they act like y'all didn't hang out all the time. Drop a five. You got that fake person. Like they try and act like they don't see you. It might be your cousin. You know, they were your favorite cousin. Y'all were like brother or sister or whatever. And then they, they act like they don't even see you, right? Isn't that fake? You literally acted like a part of your life didn't happen. That's how we feel when somebody used to be in ACN and we used to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner together and our kids and we traveled and we did and we did life together. We laughed, we cried together, we prayed, we did all this stuff together. And you see us on social media, you want to follow us because you don't want to see our ACM post because we remind you of when you had goals and dreams. And I'm not saying people not in ACN can't have goals and dreams. But what I am saying is most of the people who stop ACN do not go on to accomplish the other things that were on their list. Usually, how you do one thing is how you do everything. Let me put it like that. How you do one thing is how you do everything. So. People who are quitters here usually quit every day. So you got to sustain the right action. What do those right actions look like? There's an event going on in the DMV tonight. Some of you know someone in the DMV. Some of you have social media. And there's been somebody you've been following, they've been following you there in the DMV, and you have not talked to them about this business yet. Everyone needs to make a post. Look, I'm going to be coach. I'm going to make it right now. Who do I know in the DMV? Look, just post that. Post it on social media. Who do I know in the DMV? Make that post. Because I, I know this, somebody going to get a response. Somebody going to get a response. Who do I know in the DMV? Excuse me. And you get them to this event tomorrow. They miss tonight, but they get them there tomorrow. Look at the senior vice presidents, regional vice presidents. Don't you want your guest in this room? Of course you do. 
course we do. It's a rhetorical question. I told you we got training tomorrow. I'm a guy. I'm a guy with an internet connection, so ignore me. This guy, Gabor, owns six grocery stores. Not one, not two. Look, he's the real LeBron of grocery stores. Not three, not four, not five, six. He was there last night in Georgia. Isaac Chubb was there, former security officer. Some of y'all just walk by your security officer. You don't talk to him. Might want to talk to him. Tell him by the check. Sustain the right. Who do you know in Georgia? Who do you know with a Zoom? Who do you know with an internet connection so they can download Zoom and get on this training? Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? The best question you can ask yourself is who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? Elevate. Mr. Brown told you we're going to Baltimore. Here's how you sustain the right action. Get registered now. Go to acncompass.com, or if you're in front of a screen, you can hit the QR code. If you're on your cell phone, it's acncompass.com. You'll see this Elevate banner, and you click it, and you get registered. Register now. Somebody drop the link and the price in the chat. Look, I don't care what it costs. Do it. Do it. Because you know why? It'll cost more for you not to go than if you go. What do you mean? See, let me educate you on something I learned not in school. All that student loan debt, and they never taught me opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is the cost to you and your family when you don't do something you could do and you miss an opportunity. Example, I was an early adopter of Zoom. I've been using it since 2017. I believe Zoom was the future. How much Zoom stock did I buy? Zero, opportunity cost. Somebody look up the Zoom stock price right now, drop it in the chat. I could have bought it all. I like to use me as an example so you can see yourself in the mirror. What are the opportunities you missed out on? I had excuses. I'm busy, I'm tired. I don't know how to do it. All of that. Is that you? Don't be that person. Advance your mindset. Remember, you just texted your mentor, you submit, right? Drop a six in the chat if you text your mentor, you submit. Look, they don't even know what's going on. Tell them, don't worry about it. We'll talk about it later. Drop a six if you texted them. Put an LOL if they were confused. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like I submit to you, Sensei, the Honorable <laughs> Mrs. Tanya Smith. <laughs> like, right, Mr. Lance Samuel, sir, sir. Yes, sir, right away, sir. Yeah, whatever. Look, be official. Don't we do it at work? Yes, sir, right away, sir. Yeah, I work. I come in early, stay late, work nights and weekends. We do all that at work. Why don't you do it for your own business? That's their business. Some of you are business owners. You understand grinding. You understand it's all on you. We're not even asking you to do that here. We just want you to talk to some people, send a link. Let's see who shows up. Let us talk to them. And when we're done, tell them if you really want to do it, you'll do it. And you should do it. And I'm going to the top with or without you. That's all we want you to do. So how do you advance your momentum? It's called be, do, have. Be your end goal. Do what they would do and you'll have what they have. Be your end goal. Do what they'll do and then you'll have what they have. Example, be a senior vice president platinum. Do what a senior vice president platinum would do. Then you'll have senior vice president platinum. Do you know how people keep getting promoted? Do you know how Gloria Allen's about to become regional director? 
It's not even because we harassed her. And I did. She'll tell you, I harassed Gloria, I harassed you, didn't I? I tell her, put these vivens in, do that, do that. But she's like, I got it, I got it. I got it. She was real cool, kind of cool. But guess what, though? She harassed herself. I saw the switch go off. But she kept coming. She created the mindset. She created the energy. She created the actions. Now I watched her sustain the mindset. Sustain the energy, sustain the actions. Once she came to accelerate, she kept coming to accelerate. She doesn't even live in Atlanta. She lives in Phoenix City, Alabama, right over the Georgia border. But she comes to Atlanta meetings. Some of you live in Atlanta Metro and don't come to Atlanta meetings. Ooh. But see, she's now here. She advanced the mindset. At some point, she said, I can do more. I can do more. You know why I can do more? Because I am more. B, she became a regional director mentally and in her heart. She started doing what a regional director does, which all we do is more than a new person. We just do more than what new people. That's it. We just do more of it, more of the same stuff. And then she's knocking on the door a regional director, mindset. Her mind is set in a different area. Her energy is different. And I'm not using her as an example to boost her up and put you down. You all have a Gloria Allen in you. If she could tell you right now, Gloria, if you can unmute, I want to ask you a question. Now I'm going to interview you. Yes. Right. Gloria, will you yes. admit before the People's Court of AC and IBO, if there was a time where you know you were willfully hard-headed about the business. Yes. Now, will you also admit there was a time where you got sick and tired of it and disgusted with yourself because you knew you were better than that? Oh, yes. That would and be correct. Do you remember what that moment was? When we went to Texas. Went Fort to Worth. Texas. Yes. Fort Worth, Texas. I was so trying me, my So she's talking about an elevate event, a convention. Mm -hmm. So we were in Texas. What happened that made you say enough is enough? Well, I was trying my best to make RC then. And I had got a lot of uh, ID seal, but it still was not enough. So I said, okay, I got to do it. So that's what it was. Awesome. What it was, uh-huh. And then... You said you got to do it. Now, yes. when did you know for a fact you were going to be RD? Well, me and, um, me and Virginia, we had said it for this event coming up. We had in, said in it Baltimore. for being, Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like it. I like it. I appreciate you, man. I All appreciate right, thank you. <laughs> Mindset. She backed it up with energy. And actions. Notice she didn't say, I sat at home by myself, hyped myself up, and did it all on my own. I'm self made. She said, Me and what? Virginia. Where's your Virginia, y'all? Where's your hype man or woman? Where's the person? Y'all got enough people putting you down. Where's your hype person? You know what I love about Buster Rhymes? He's real hype. But if you pay attention, guess who's more hype than Buster Rhymes? His, his, his homeboy, Spliff Mo. This guy is going crazy back there. He know all Buster Rhymes' lyrics. He's completing his sentences. He's inventing dance moves. He's climbing in the crowd. He's making, he's giving Buster Rhymes water. He's patting him on the back. He's drying off his sweat. Where's your hype person? You got to advance the actions. Right now, somebody's on here that should be knocking on RD with Miss Gloria, but you didn't even get your own ID seal. So you, you can't do what she did and get other people's because you didn't get your own. You didn't get your own vivid. So you're not going to get other people's. You didn't get your own cell phone. So you're not going to get other people's. Miss Gloria, do you have all your services? Yes. And she's in Alabama. She can't even get gas or electric. So don't use no, the energy can't. excuse. We don't want to hear it. 
because that's all it is is excuse. It sounds cute. So here's what we're going to do. If you've been on the um, Champions Calls with Larry Raskin, you all know who he is? He's a legend in network marketing. Legend. And he's in ACN. He's in corporate now. He was an IBO. They paid him to come out of corporate, I mean, out of the field into corporate so he could teach everybody's team, not just his own, because he's just that good. He told us to stretch, reach, push. Stretch, reach, push, right? Press. These are all actions. Press. What is pressing? Pressing is like doing a push-up. You're pushing something, right? You got to press it. Use force. He said, be bold. Every month, everybody's goal should be, I'm going to get five new recruits. Every month. And guess what? Even if you fail at getting five new recruits a month, what if you hit four? What if you hit three? What if you hit two? I know you won't get zero. If your goal is one, zero is possible. If your goal is two, zero is possible. If your goal is five, zero is impossible impossible and what would happen if you found five gloria albums and you have five regional coordinators about to go five regional directors who would be happy drop a seven in the chat lucky seven if you'd be happy you'd be happy you know what you know why gloria is, is going to that position somebody kept making her go to events Somebody kept encouraging her to schedule another event. Miss Gloria, did you have any no-show meetings along the way? Do I have any what? Did, I, did you have any no-show meetings where no guests came? Yes. Did you have meetings where guests came and no one got in? Yes. Did you have people promise they were going to join or be your customer and not do it? Yes. Did you just keep scheduling more meetings? Right. It's not rocket science, y'all. Look, y'all want it to be cute. I'm sorry. This is not a Carlton Feet infomercial. And I'm not that guy with the perfect smile. I have a chip too. I'm not going to hype you up and sell you a dream and tell you that hey, you too could be. <laughs> no. You just keep having meetings till you get what you want. Isn't that what people do in corporate America? I'm a corporate recruit. Guess what? People keep going to work until they hope to get what they want. They do that. They clock in every day hoping that's the day. This is the day when they finally pay me what I'm worth. This is the day they finally promote me. This is the day I finally get the raise. This is the day I finally get thank you, good job, well done. Isn't that what people are doing in corporate? That's what they do at work. Why can't you do it for your business? Well, how many meetings do I got to go to? I don't know. How many checks do you want ACN to send you? One check or unlimited? Match your events with the amount of checks you want. That sounds like a lot of time. You've been working 40 hours a week plus for how many years? And how many more do you have? To go? I had a guy the other day, piqued his interest. He said, I actually have no time for something like that. I work from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. You know what I, I did? I said, how long have you been doing that? More importantly, how long can you do that? I guess I offended him. He blocked me. But guess what? He'll never forget that question. Be bold. Offend the one out of 10. I don't like offending people. Do you like your bank account? Be, your, your bank account is nice right now, right? It's okay to push people if you know you're pushing them to something good. Again, remember the story, crazy story I told you in the beginning. If you came on late, I'm going to repeat it just so you get it. Coca-Cola had cocaine in it. You could go to the bar and get cocaine for 50 cents. You, you could go down the street and eat food with cocaine in it. They use it as medicine for everything. You know how people say ginger ale cured everything. It used to be cocaine. This is the 1880s up to the 1920s. And then when they stopped or tried to stop cocaine, they started doing it with heroin and they were even giving it to kids. Aren't you glad somebody changed their mind 
Aren't you glad someone stopped making the excuses that it was okay to give people cocaine and heroin and the addicts, it was okay, it was collateral. It was, aren't you glad someone stopped anything negative that we used to believe was normal? When are you gonna stop the addiction to the abuse of to ignoring your dreams and goals? When are you gonna stop acting like you don't need an event to hype you up? Yes, you do. This world is negative, it's down, it's depressed. I remember in 2019, early 2020, I could post something on social media and people would have a conversation about it. Even if they disagree, people were kind of still friendly about it. All of a sudden we got locked in the house for a year or two. And now there's this thing called cancel culture. Anytime you offend a group of people, they go find people who agree with them. They try and get you taken off the map. They want your job. They want your business shut down. They want to report your page, put you in social media jail. They want everything bad to happen to you just because you think differently than them. Isn't that crazy? So you want everyone to think like you, right? If people don't have what they want, why do we want to think like them? Why do we want to agree with them? Why would you agree if we were all sheep and there was a wolf in a, in a cave and every sheep that went in the cave never came out? Why would we go in the cave? That is most people in and out of our business. All you have to decide is I'm not gonna be like most people. I'm gonna be a Dwayne Brown. I'm gonna be a Gloria Allen. I'm gonna be a Lance Samuel. I'm gonna be a Isaac Chubb. I'm gonna be a Virginia Green. We got people on here, they have no upline support, none. Some of y'all have upline support and you still make excuses. And they're winning without the upline. You don't need what you think you need. You're all you need. You just gotta keep going. Remember, create, sustain, advance. Create, sustain, advance. Everyone on here is in one of these stages. And guess what? You're gonna go through seasons. You're gonna go through a bad harvest where you might have to go from advance to sustain back to advance. You might go from advance to create to sustain to advance again, but you gotta keep going, keep going. Don't stop, create, advance, sustain. So now I wanna call up a special guest, the woman I harass every day because I had some questions for her and she doesn't know what they are and this is not scripted. So if it goes sideways, we'll delete it from the recording before it goes to Facebook and YouTube. And I'm just playing. But seriously, I, I, I have no idea what I'm about to ask her or what she's gonna say. So this is my wife, Amber. You can say hi, Amber, in the chat or if, if you can unmute, you can say hi, Amber. Hey. Good evening. So here's my questions for you. I want to ask you in front of all these people and whoever's going to see this recording, because this, this is now permanent record. So this is real forever. Okay. What I tell people is that actually what I do when I log off of it. Yes. Even if our friends and family look at me crazy for doing it, do I not still do it? Yes. <laughs> and whatever crazy things they say, never make it to me because you as my wife cover me and keep it away from me, right? Absolutely. And you do that, why? Why? Because I believe in you and I believe in this business. It's pretty simple. Now, when we first started dating, Gemma. did you believe in the business? 
the business made sense. So yes. So it was logical. It was logical. It wasn't in your heart. It wasn't in my heart, but it was logical. So when did it get in your heart? Um, when we took uh, when we took Gemma to my first convention in Oklahoma City. Yeah, it was, the vibe was different. It was it, it wasn't like it was different, but it was like more real, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because like we had, I had attended virtual events just for clarity, guys. I joined ACN during the pandemic. So it like just, well, just, just before the pandemic, let me say that just before the pandemic. So I had not been to a large or any kind of like convention event until we went to Oklahoma city. Um, and the vibe was different. It was the energy in the room. It was all the positive people. Um, hearing the different, you know, life stories and, and seeing people on stage, meeting people in the crowd, um, it just became more real. And I was just like, oh my gosh, these are everyday people just like me that are doing this on a daily basis. And they make it a part of their lifestyle and a part of their family's life. And, look, and it was also logical. I appreciate that. And here's what. I want you all to know. You have to draw a line in the sand, in your house, in your community, on your social media, and say, I have crossed this line. This is now a point of no return. I am planting my flag on the top of this ACM mountain. I don't know when I'll get there. I don't know how I'll get there. I don't know who will be with me when I get there, but I know God willing in the creek don't rise. As long as there's breath in my body, I will be on the top of this ACM mountain. Some call it a pyramid, but guess what? So is your job and you'll never be at the top of that. There's no applications to the C-suite at your job for you. They invited me to the C-suite when I signed my representative agreement. Did you all know that the moment you sign your ACN agreement, if you read the print, you're an independent business owner authorized to do business in 27 countries? That sounds like a co-founder to me. If you go start a wing shack right now, isn't your wing shack only on Lawrenceville Highway? Your wing shack's not in 27 countries. That's not, look, is it? But even that, we respect that. That's the CEO of a wing shack. You're the CEO of a multinational, 27, soon to be 28 country business with 1,500 employees speaking 15 different languages, offering a plethora of services with more to come. And you only have to pay $324 for it and $25 a month. You can't even pull up the Starbucks and spend $25 a month for your uh, family. But you're afraid of this? Look at the cost of eggs, gas. Look at the job market. A job opens, 100, 200 people apply to it in an hour. Do you think they're going to look at your resume? If all your eggs are in that basket, and you don't see taxes going up. You don't see property taxes going up. You don't see uh, 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 inflation going up. You don't see all the things you buy going up, cost of living going up, and your job saying it's a hiring freeze, it's a pay freeze, and there, if you own a business, it's affecting your potential customers' in intake because if people corporately are hurting, they're not trying to spend money, they're trying to cut back. If you don't see you need something different, all I can tell you all is what happened in the last recession should not happen again. But if it does, are you ready? Because you still have time. I don't know if it's weeks. I don't know if it's months. I don't know if it's a year or two. But you have time to fix your roof while it's sunny outside. Because what it is today is not what it could be a year from now. And I'm not trying to be doom or gloom. If you do your own independent research on the housing market and what is going on right now and what is going on with jobs, 
put two and two together. Remember, what's right in front of us? Aren't we glad people were willing to change? Aren't we glad someone created Zoom? We had our wedding on Zoom. We went to Zoom 20 year class reunion for me. I know I look like I'm still in high school, I'm not, I'm about to be 42. We went to Zoom funerals. Aren't we glad someone created Zoom and didn't listen to their negative friends and family? Aren't we glad? When are we gonna be the person who doesn't listen to our negative friends and family and change the world we live? It's gonna happen in Baltimore for somebody. Ms. Gloria met her made her declaration. Look, we got what, three weeks? Yeah, we got about three weeks. Some of you can go RD in three weeks. I went RD in two and a half weeks. We put in half the customers in two and a half weeks. Yeah. Mine made up. That's how I knew she got fed up. I knew she, I knew because I did it. And guess what? It'll be the same thing. Somebody got fed up tonight. You're going to go RD. You're going to go RD. You, somebody's like, what is RD? I don't know. I'm new. Look, RD is 600 customer points. Every bill is worth at least one point. And all I want you to focus on is RD, not CQ, not ETL, not RC. Focus on 600, 600, 600. Drop a 600 in the chat if you're paying attention. So again, tomorrow, some of you have someone you're scared to talk to. I'm telling you right now, if you get them in front of Isaac Chubb and A.B. Gabor, look, I'm, a, I'm all right. You know, I like, I like, Get the mic hot for them, but then they got really look. He owns six grocery stores, y'all. Don't you want your rich, loaded uncle, cousin, auntie, grandparent, parent, neighbor? Don't you want them to hear someone who owns six grocery stores so they can stop making excuses that this business isn't worth their time? Look, here's what I want you to do now exercise number two. You made your post. Who do I know in the DMV? I want you to text three people you know make at least six figures, because I know you got them. Text three people you know who make at least six figures and say, can we talk? It's urgent. And whenever they say yes, get them on the phone with your mentor. Don't ask them. Here's what you do. You call them up. You say, listen, I have five minutes with Dwayne Brown. He's a regional vice president. He might only give you two. He's that busy. But listen, I need you to hear what he's doing because I feel like if it comes from me, you're going to judge me and not it. I need you to see this the way I saw it. Stroke their ego. You're so successful. If you and his success match up, it's going to be like dynamite in a gasoline fire. It's going to blow up. I'll, I'll just be in the room. Look, I'm going to stay out of the way. You two need to talk. Look, I'm working with Tanya. Tanya Smith had multiple streams. And this woman is so amazing. She's a regional coordinator. I got five minutes of her time. I don't even know. She might just give you two. But look, all I know is you guys are on the same level. You need to talk. Look, I'm working with Lance Salmon. He's retired military. This man got acres on acres on acres on acres. He has money. He knows money. And he knows his business. I, I feel like if I explain this, you're going to judge me and not the opportunity. If he's good enough to do this, so are you. You need to hear it from me. Look, you don't have to say the same thing the same way every time. You just need to say the same thing, which is you follow me to them. Let them explain so we can come up together. And guess what? Once you get them in, get them to Baltimore. If you're not registered for Baltimore right now, go to acncompass.com and register for Baltimore. All you need is your basic ACN information, create a login, it's as easy as ordering a pizza or Amazon. We wanna know who gets registered. We are gonna, if you get registered tonight with proof of registration and you are new, meaning it's your first convention, so you got started since we went to Fort Worth and you get registered tonight for the convention. Somebody's going to get a raffle. We're going to pay your money back. Ooh. 
Now somebody's gonna go do it. Isn't it sad we gotta bribe y'all? But look, it's okay. As long as your life changed. <laughs> so make sure you go do it. So listen, we love you all. Um, thank you, Miss Gloria and uh, Miss Amber for bearing with my randomness. But I, I need realness so people can connect the dots. And so we're gonna give you all, we got five minutes to our usual end time. We usually end at 10, 15. I'm gonna give you all the ability to unmute yourself and ask a question. So questions, comments, concerns. And here's the kind of questions I want. Who has an obstacle keeping you from going to Boston? Put it out there, let's fix it right now. Five minutes. If you talk quick, we can fix more than one person. You can also drop it in the chat. One of our co-hosts can read it for you. Go on once. Go on twice. Look, if nobody says anything, that means everybody's registered. So that means we're going to see all y'all in Baltimore. Okay. 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 Co-host, y'all checking the chat. Yeah, oh, and if you're, says, you're David says my car. David said his car. You said who said their car? David. David. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. David, my man. Guess whose car is working? Someone else's, including Megabus. They got Wi-Fi. I like that problem. That's an easy fix. Can't afford plane tickets, Megabus. Look it up. Look it up, y'all. Megabus. Put you on game. Look, it's not recliner seats, but you bring you a nice soft pillow, nice blanket. They keep the AC on. They got Wi-Fi. You can charge your devices. You'll make it. There's Amtrak, Megabus, there's Greyhound. No, if you're on a budget, look, Megabus is the spirit airlines of buses. They won't break down and they'll get you there. But pack light. Don't be bringing no 10 piece luggage. I've done Megabus because I had to do it so I could teach it. That's how I know it's doable. What else we got? I'm talking about changing family trees, y'all. This ain't about taking a trip, a vacation. It's an investment in your children, your nieces, your nephews, your grandchildren, your parents, your grandparents. Remember, we all need an event to change. Mega bus. Mr. Aikman. What's up? Uh, I just went to Truby. You still get a flight from ATL to Baltimore for $93, a round trip. $93 flights, y'all, round trip. Put all your stuff in one bag, carry-ons only. On Frontier. <laughs> look, look, y'all can wear jeans all weekend. Look, I don't care what you wear, just get there. Just get I'm. Look, no, y'all look at me funny all you want to. Be coming with a baby. David wants to know if the convention is kid friendly. Oh, yeah, we come with our baby. Your kids can play with baby Gemma. Yeah. Kids get in free too, y'all. Convention is like free babysitter. You'll have 10,000 people taking care of your kids, telling you how cute they are. My wife thought it was crazy until she got there and she realized, wow, everyone really does. <laughs> Look, they showed her because she was still nursing. They showed her to the nursing room. You know, someone was in there. They used to take turns. They were very nice, very nice to her. Yeah. Bring the babies, y'all. We love the kids. There's going to be lasers and dancing and DJs and music. Just bring their little headphones and, you know, their little tablets and stuff. There's places to charge stuff. There's plenty of, like, we'll, you know, we'll all rotate. I'll rotate walking the kids around while y'all take notes. Very simple. I'm daddy daycare. Kids love me.
These are good questions, comments, concerns. Anyone else? Anyone have anything somebody told you that's not on here? So I can help you call them back and get them registered. Okay. Going once. Going twice. Remember, y'all, press, stretch, reach, push, punch, kick, scrape, claw, grind, whatever adjectives you need to get you going. Jump, run, do everything but stand still, do everything but lay down, do everything but stop, do everything but quit. As long as you keep going, because one thing I can tell you, all the conversations Ms. Gloria had from Fort Worth to now, they weren't all perfect. But guess what was perfect? Her focus. At some point, she zoned out on the people and what they were saying or not saying, doing or not doing, and she locked in on the finish line. That's respect because she flipped the switch in, in like that. We were just in Fort Worth a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't that far. She made a decision. A now decision, make a now decision. So when we do this call for whatever convention is next, you're the person spotlighted because you made the change. Let Ms. Gloria pass that torch to y'all. And you know what? It's an excuse. That's all it is. You just got to be a person who solves problems and start with your own. That's all I did. I drive my wife crazy. Because I'm so solution centered, sometimes I can't listen to problems. And that's just real talk. You know, she just said, yep, through the door, y'all. I drive her crazy. You know, sometimes your wife just wants you to listen to the problem and not try and fix or address anything. She don't really want us. But I'm so, I'm so ACN'd out. Like I, I can't compute. I get in trouble, y'all. <laughs> but it's good for business. <laughs> So look, come to the convention so you can get that in you. It's a download. I'll, I'll show you which kiosk to download it at. You just download the ACN heart into you and you're just going to be different. I know it'll change you. That's why Mr. Brown says stay both days. You got to see those RVP and SVP promotions. If you stay for those promotions, your guests stay, I promise you, they don't get in. Something's wrong with them. They need to check up from the neck up. Something is wrong with them if they don't get in and get this in them. Because hearing another man or woman bust through barriers of the same thing you're facing, it is liberation at the highest level. You want to be free? Come to Baltimore. Y'all have a good night.